Routines are repeated patterns we use to keep life as simple as possible. And they are the metric of our comfort zones. When I'm engaged, or more enslaved by my routines, I am almost by definition comfortable. So it makes sense that when one of my routines is disrupted, I am likely to be uncomfortable. I'm a great proponent of OtterBox cell phone protection devices. They make great, although my wife would say bulky, cell phone cases and holsters that do a fine job protecting my investment in technology. I've had one of these devices on three of my last cell phones and must say I can draw my phone out of its holster on an even keel with Billy the Kid. The holster is my location index for this phone. If it's not there, well, it's anybody's guess as to where it might be. The routine is clearly a contributor to my quality of life. So one morning back in early October, that complicated month where I failed to get this missive published, as I exited my car, the holster caught on the B-pillar of my driver's door and unceremoniously cracked in two, clattering to my garage floor. OtterBox, to their credit, has a very liberal guarantee policy. You break it, they'll replace it. But life was busy in October and I took some time getting around to calling them for that replacement. What I did, I was informed that my phone was so old they didn't even make this case and holster anymore. But my customer service rep did a little warehouse searching, came back and told me she'd found two. And because I was obviously old and kept my phones for way too long, she'd send both of them to me. I mentioned I only needed the holster and she replied she was not about to open up new boxes and take out parts. So it took every bit of the allotted 15 days to get to me. And for the total of maybe 45 days, I was without my holster, which is my routine. In that time, I had left my phone in three restaurants, two men's rooms, left it at a client, dropped it out of my vest three times, had to use Samsung's Where's My Device app three times, and called it within my own house at least seven times. And one time, I was profanely searching my home when my visiting daughter pointed it out to me in my shirt pocket going, you mean that phone pop? See how disheveled things can get when the routine is disrupted? And you know what? That's not my only routine. I have thousands of them. And I bet you do too. Putting things in specific places, doing things in a specific order, that old, there's a time and a place for everything idea. We are creatures of habit, and those habits keep us in our comfort zones. So I wish all of your routines to stay intact over the next month, and your holidays be merry and happy. Well, those are my routines anyway. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.